Hi everyone, it's Theo from Appify, and it's time for another How to Crawl Without Getting Blocked episode. In our previous tutorial on the subject, we talked about proxies. This time you'll learn how to adapt your bot's headers and user agents to resemble real users. Each time you access a website, your browser sends unique HTTP headers, giving away crucial information like your screen size, language preferences, and the machine you're using. Websites use this data to tailor your experience. But beyond improving a visitor's experience, websites can use headers to distinguish real human visitors from bots and block them. And if you're scraping the web, then that can be a real problem. In the next few minutes, you'll know how to solve that problem. To get started, we first need to understand the difference between a default real browser request and a request coming from a bot. To demonstrate that, let's go over to httpbin.org cache in our browser and see what we get. As you can see, when we access a website, a ton of information is packed into the headers. Stuff like our browser language, the device we're using, it's all in there. But if a regular user's headers look like this, what sets bot requests apart? To find out, we're going to send a simple Axios GET request to the same URL we just checked out. Let's see what happens. Once we run the code, we get the request headers logged to the terminal. Now note the contrast between the real browser's headers and the default ones Axios sends out. See the difference? The Axios request lacks critical information. Take a look at the user agent, for example. The bots one has this, whereas a real user's would be much more detailed, like this. No wonder bots get blocked so easily. With default headers like that, they practically have a sign over their head saying, I'm a bot. Now that we understand the differences between a genuine user's headers and those of a bot, how do we use this information to stop our bots from getting blocked? There are two methods to improve our bots' headers. A manual one, which is error-prone and sluggish, and an automated. But before we appreciate how automation simplifies things, let's dive into the tedious manual approach. This first approach involves identifying all the headers a website expects from a genuine user's request, and then manually incorporating them into the Axios request. By doing this, our bot's request can mimic a real user's headers, reducing the likelihood of it being detected and blocked. To illustrate this, let's send another request to HTTP bin, this time including the headers we just listed. Unlike our initial Axios request, these headers now closely resemble the ones we received when accessing the website through the browser. Sure, this method can do the trick, but let's face it, who wants to go through the hassle of finding and typing all those headers manually every time? Fortunately, there's a more efficient way of handling this, automation. And that brings us to Got Scraping, an HTTP client crafted for web scraping and automation tasks. Unlike general purpose clients, Got Scraping automatically generates all the necessary headers for you, ensuring your requests are reliable and human-like. So let's put Got Scraping to the test and see how it can save us time and keep our sanity intact by handling all the header complexities for us. Right after running the code, we can see that all the headers were generated based on the options we provided to Got Scraping. We can tweak the options to make the headers match whatever we want from devices to locales and operating systems. For example, we specified Windows as our desired OS, even though we're on a MacBook, and Got Scraping automatically adjusted everything to make sure our headers look just like those of a Windows machine. So if you're into web scraping and automation as much as we are, you definitely want to check out Got Scraping on GitHub. You'll find the link in the description. If you found this helpful, you can show your appreciation with a like and by subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss out on future content. So long, and thanks for all the likes.